So, first of all, I'd like to, to thank Apichat Sam and organizing committee for giving me an opportunity to talk about our result. Iron deficiency anemia is one of the most prevalent human micronutrient deficiencies in the world. Over 2 billion people suffer from iron and zinc deficiencies because their plant-based diet are not a sufficiently rich source of these essential elements. Developing crops De developing crop cultivars with increased micronutrient concentration, an approach known as biofortification, is challenging, as metal ion concentration is various tissues and compartments are maintained very within very narrow physiological limit by coordinated uptake. To, uh, coordinated uptake and translocation and storage. Furthermore, for crops like rice, removal of the outer layer of the grain during polishing essentially removes all of the micronutrient, leaving only the starchy and the sperm. This shows the micronutrient distribution pattern in a materialized grain obtained by synchrotron radiation induced X-ray fluorescence spectrometry in spring 8 in Japan. As shown here, micronutrients are mainly accumulated in the embryo and the outer layer of the grain, those are removed by polishing. Therefore, to biofortify rice, it is important to increase micronutrient concentration in the endosperm. By expressing key genes involved in the mobilization of micronutrient from the soil to the seed, scientists have biofortified rice, a staple food consumed by half the world population every day. These transgenic approaches are summarized as shown here. First, expression of ferritin gene in rice seed. Two, overexpression of nicotinamine synthase gene. Three, increase in the production of phytocidal wool. Four, enhancement of iron flux to the endosperm by metal nicotinamine transporter OSYSL2. The first one is expression of ferritin gene in rice seed. Ferritin is a protein for iron storage and stores about 4,000 ion atoms in a complex. Goto et al. enhanced expression of ferritin and increase the iron content in brown rice seed. Similarly, Q et al. expressed soybean ferritin under the control of both the globulin and glutarin promoter to further increase seed iron concentration. However, simple overproduction of strange protein did not produce further increases in seed iron content. In addition to increased iron storage in seed, enhanced iron uptake and translocation within the plant is required for further improvement of iron concentration in seed. The next approach is uh, involves increasing iron translocation with the plant body by overproduction of the metal chelator nicotinamine. Similarly, enhancing iron uptake from the soil and translocation within the plant through the overproduc overproduction of the phytocidal holes 
resulted in increase in iron and zinc concentration in polished rice seed. Phytochelogros, a natural curator of ferric iron produced in graminaceous plant. To acquire iron in the soil, graminaceous plant secrete Mugineca seed family phytocidiophores from their root to curate ferric iron in the soil. The iron phytocidiophore complex is taken up into the root through the iron phytocidiophore transporter YSL family. Lice produce deoxymugenic acid, the primary member of phytocidiophores, and secrete deoxymugenic acid through the efflux transporter of TOM1. Then OSYSL15 in the root cells take up iron deoxymugenic acid complex from soil. Unlike most graminaceous crops, lice is well adapted for growth under submerged conditions in which ferrous iron is abundant. We confirm that ferrous iron is taken up by rice. Therefore, rice plants are able to take up bosphoric iron, bosphoric iron deoxymagnetic acid, and ferrous iron. This show the biosynthetic pathway of deoxymagnetic acid. Three molecules of S adenosyl methionine are combined to produce nicotinamine by nicotinamine synthesis. Nicotinamine is combated, combated to the, the deoxymagnetic acid through two steps by catalyzed by nicotinamine aminotransferase, NAAT, and deoxymagnetic acid synthesis, DMAS. Nicotinamine is a biosynthetic precursor of phytocidiophore and a curator of divalent cations and plays a role in the internal transport of micronutrients in higher plants. Deoxymagnetic acid is also involved in the internal transport of iron within graminaceous plant. Iron absorbed from the soil is translocated to the sea. This shows a real-time imaging of translocation of iron 52 from the root to the developing sea obtained by posturon emitting tracer imaging system, Petis Meso. As shown here, iron 52 deoxymagnetic acid complex supplied from loose is directly transported to the developing sea within 14 hours. We have isolated three nicotinamine synthase genes one nicotinamine aminotransferase gene and one deoxymagnetic acid synthase gene from rice and confirm their, its enzyme activity of the protein product. To clarify the role of nicotinamine and deoxymagnetic acid during seed development, we examine the expression of these genes at flowering and stuck seed maturing stage by promoter gas analysis. OSNAS1 and OSNAS3 were expressed in the flower and the developing seed. However, OSNAS2 expression was not observed at these stages. 30 days after fertilization, OSNAS1 expression was high in the endosperm and OSNAS3 expression is high in the vascular bundles. The expression of OSNAT1 and OSDMAS1 was also observed in the flower and the maturing seed. At the 
later stage, expression were high in the embryo. This result showed that nicotinamine and deoxymuric acid are produced during the seed maturing stage and function in metal homeostasis in developing seed. We examine the effect of nicotinamine and deoxymuric acid on micronutrient transport to the developing seed. Zinc 65, manganese 54, or iron 59 were supplied to the cut ear as a free ion or a nicotinamine complex or deoxymuric acid complex. As shown here, without nicotinamine or deoxymuric acid, zinc, manganese, and iron were not efficiently transported to the developing sea. In contrast, nicotinamine or deoxymuric acid complexes were effectively transported to the developing sea. This result showed that the presence of nicotinamine and deoxymuric Deoxymuric acid is crucial for the efficient transport of zinc, manganese, and iron into the developing seed. This is the enlarged odd radiographs of iron 59 distribution. As a free ion, iron, iron was not loaded to the grains, but nicotinamine or deoxymuric acid comp complexes were efficiently loaded to the grains. In particular, nicotinamine is more effective than deoxymuric acid to load iron into the grains. This result showed that the increased biosynthesis of nicotinamine and deoxymuric acid could contribute to the enhanced loading of iron into grain. Of course, increased biosensitivity of deoxymuric acid also contribute to enhance iron uptake from the soil. Based on these results, we produced rice lines over expressing barley nicotinamine synthesis to increase iron and zinc concentration in live seed. As expected, iron concentration of polished rice was increased in the overexpressing lines. Furthermore, in these overexpressing lines, not only nicotinamine, but also deoxymuric acid were increased in brown slice. This means higher production of nicotinamine resulted in higher production of deoxymuric acid in rice. Yeah, so the back. Yeah, okay. So the go back or sorry. So there. By activation of the rice nicotinamine synthase gene, OSNAS3, genes group has succeeded in iron fortification of rice seed. This iron rich seed are effective to recover anemic mice. It is encouraging that enhancing nicotinamine levels did increase the levels of bioavailable iron in the Polish rice seed. The next approach is enhancement of iron flux into the endosperm 
by expression of the ion nicotinamine transporter gene, OS YSL2. We identified 18 putative ion phytocellular for transporter genes in lice genome by using the oocyte system and yeast complementation analysis we confirmed that OSYSL15 and OSYSL18 are uptake transporters of iron deoxymuginic acid. In contrast, OSYSL2 is an uptake transporter of iron nicotinamine and manganese nicotinamine, but not iron deoxymuginic acid. OSYSL2 expression was highly induced by iron deficiency and observed in the vascular bundles, especially in the phloem cells of iron deficient tribes. These results show that OSYSL2 is a metal nicotinamine transporter in lice for the long distance transport of iron and manganese. Simple overexpression of OSYSL2 by the 35S promoter did not increase iron concentration in C. In contrast, enhancement of OSYSL2 expression under the control of the lice sucrose transporter OSSUT1 promoter, which drives high expression in the panicle and immature C, during the seed maturation, increased iron concentration in polished rice seed by up to threefold. This showed iron staining of the polished seed. Iron content is increased in transgenic seed, as shown here. Then we saw thought that a combination of these transgenic approaches would further increase the iron concentration in seed. We combined these approaches and produced new transgenic rice lines with enhanced iron accumulation in seed by using three genes and four promoters and we combined globulin promoter ferritin, gluten promoter ferritin, actin promoter HVNAS1, and globulin promoter OSYSL2, and sucrose transporter promoter OSYSL2. We produced 45 independent transgenic rice lines. We call this FEL NAS YSL2. Teaser regenerated plants were cultivated in a greenhouse, and those lines with a high iron content in their T1 polished seed were selected. These lines carried all the introduced genes as confirmed by genomic PCR. Ferritin accumulation in T2 seed was detected by Western blot analysis and enhanced expression of OSYSL2 and HVNAS1 in immature T3 seed of selected transgenic lines was confirmed by real time IFT PCR. The iron concentration in the T2 seed had increased up to the sixfold in the fair NAS YSL2 line, threefold in the action promoter HVNAS lines, as shown AN, and twofold in the SY sucrose transporter promoter OSYSL2 lines, compared to the non transformant line. Thus, the introduction of multiple genes is a more effective method to increase iron concentration in greenhouse cultivated rice grain 
the single introduction of either HVNAS1 or OSYSL2. So we selected the iron rich lines to further experiment as arrows show. They show the transgenic lines in the experimental field in August. Sorry. So the, for practical use, they selected T2 lines with high iron content in their polished seed as shown as arrows were cultivated in an isolated paddy field in South Korea. So this shows the transgenic lines in the experimental field in August. This is just before the harvest. In the field experiment, no negative effect on yield was found. We measure the amount of nicotinamine and deoxymilinic acid in brown sea harvested from the paddy field. In addition to nicotinamine, deoxymilinic acid concentration increased in brown sea. The nicotinamine and deoxymilinic acid concentration in T3 brown seed of FL NAS YSL2 lines increased by up to six and threefold compared to non transformant brown seed and to a similar level in the AN action promoter HV NAS1. The mean iron concentration in T3 polished seed from the non seed from the non-transformant actin promoter HVNAS1 AN and per NAS YSL2 lines were 0.9 and 1.5 and 4.0 milligram per dry weight. Notably, the iron concentration in the per NAS YSL2 C was 4.4 times higher compared to non-transformant C and 2.7 2 times higher compared to AMC, actin promoter HVNAS1 transgenic lines. So, our result demonstrated that multiple introduction of genes involved in iron nutrition are better than a single introduction of either OS action one promoter HVNAS1 or OSSUT1 promoter OSYSL2 under the field condition. In addition, the seed also accumulated the zinc up to 1.6-fold more. This transgenic rind seed did not accumulate the toxic heavy metal cadmium more than seen in the non-transformant rind. I'd like to thank these collaborators here. Thank you for your attention.